when you go to nursing corps, you're going to start doing uh, something called med math, computations in nursing scenario. And one of the computations you're going to be doing is calculating dosages using dimensional analysis. The way your nursing instructors are going to explain it is they're going to use different kinds of guiding questions to help you set up the dimensional analysis. And there are four main questions that you're going to be using as guiding questions to help you set up uh, uh, the dimensional analysis to calculate the dosage. And the four questions are, what is the order? Where are you going? What is on hand? Do you need any equivalents? I just want you to be aware that these questions are the same questions that I used previously to guide me set up the dimension analysis. For example, what is the order? Well, I used to say, what is given? Where are you going? It's the same question as, what do you want? What is on hand? And do you need any equivalents? Those two questions, it's the same kind of question as, what do you need? So it's the same process. The only thing is these questions in red are focused on the nursing setting and it will help you set up the dimensional analysis. Here's an example. The order uh, is that the nurse is going to give the patient this medicine, late six, 40 milligrams per mouth daily. And the dose, the dose on hand is the bottle. Uh, it says in the label 80 milligrams per 10 milliliter. It, I, I, I hope you notice that the order is in solid format, milligrams, 40 milligrams. But the nurse has the medicine, but in liquid format, milliliters. So we have a problem here. We need to convert the order that is in solid format to convert it into liquid format because that's what is available and using the four guiding questions i'm gonna show you how you set up the dimensional analysis to convert 40 milligrams to milliliters so what is the order what is given the 40 milligrams now i wrote it as a fraction because 40 is a whole number measurement so i wrote it as a fraction and I put the word dose next to the one because how much uh, medicine you're giving one time, 40 milligrams. That's what one dose means. Now, the next question you're going to be using, the guiding question is, um, where are you going? What do you want? Well, I don't want milligrams because I don't have milligrams to give to the patient. I have milliliters. So how many milliliters of the same medicine I had to give to the patient one time? And if you observe these two fractions, they're same fractions, but the top, the numerator are different units. This is milligram, this is milliliter. The bottom remains the same. So that's our problem. We need to convert milligrams to milliliters. How are we gonna use our third guiding question? Okay, and what is on hand or what do you need? Well, I need to convert milligrams to milliliter. And what do I have available? Well, the dose on hand, the 80 milligram per 10 milliliter. Now visualize this rate like the following conversion statement. 80 milligrams is the equivalent of 10 milliliters. And from that conversion statement, I'm going to get two uh, unit conversion factors, two fractions. And I need these two fractions because I'm going to choose one of them to multiply what was given. So the word milligram is cancel out. Which of these two fractions will cancel out the word milligram? I hope you notice it's the second fraction. That's what I'm multiplying the 40 milligram per dose by 10 milliliter over 80 milligram because the word milligram will cancel out. And if you observe carefully, the only word left on the top is milliliter, exactly what I wanted. All right. Now, remember, there are four guiding questions you're going to be using in med math and nursing core. And the next question is, do I need something more? Do I need any equivalents? No, because we already crossed out the word milligram. 
the word milliliters left on the top, like I want it. And the word those is left on the bottom, exactly what I needed. So the next thing I'm going to do is simplify. So remember, milligrams cancel out. The word milliliters is left, exactly what I want. The word those is left on the bottom, exactly what I want. And now I multiply top with top and bottom with bottom. I get 400 milliliter on the top, 80 dose on the bottom. We're going to divide 400 divided by 80. That's how I get 5 milliliter per 1 dose. Remember, I can simplify 5 over 1 as 5. And that's how you use dimensional analysis to calculate dosages. Here is another example. The order is this medicine 0.05 milligrams per mouth daily. What is available, according to the label, is uh, the medicine is available 50 microgram per milliliter. And what is being asked to find how many milliliters the nurse is going to give of the medicine. If you're wondering why we need to find milliliters. The medicine is in solid format, but the medicine is available in liquid format. So here we go with the four guiding question. What is the order? Well, the order is 0.05 milligrams. Now I need to write that as a fraction. Okay, so I'm gonna write 0.05 milligrams over one dose. Now the next question I'm gonna be using is, where are you going or what do you want? And I wanna give the medicine in liquid format to the patient. So I wanted in milliliters for every dose. So how many milliliters I need to give one time to the patient? That's what I want. Okay, that's where I'm going. All right, now, if you notice, I need to change the milligram on the top of the amount that was given. I need to convert it to milliliter. So here comes the next question. How do I convert from milligram to milliliter? I need something. So what is on hand? Okay, what do I need? Well, I know on hand, I have a bottle and the bottle has a label that says that I have 50 micrograms per milliliter. Now visualize this as the following conversion statement. Every 50 microgram is the equivalent of one milliliter. From there, I can write two unit conversion factors. And I need to decide which of these two fractions I can use to cancel out the word milligram, because I don't want milligram, I want milliliter. But there's a problem. None of these two fractions can cancel the word milligram. Because if you see, I don't have mg, I have mcg. That's not exactly the same as mg. So that's a problem. That's why we go to the next question. And what is the next question? Uh, do you need any equivalents? What more do you need? What I have on hand is not going to cancel out the word MG. So I need something more. What do I need to know? Well, how many uh, micrograms are in a milligram or vice versa? And after I look it up, I know that in one uh, milligram, I have a thousand microgram. And from this conversion statement, I can get two fractions. Now I can choose one of these two that will help me cancel out the word uh, milligrams. And that will be the second fraction. And that's what I'm going to multiply by because you can see that mg will cancel out. However, when I look on the top, I have mcg, but I don't want mcg. I want milliliter. So now I can go back to my two first fractions from the first conversion statement what I had on hand, what I have on hand, and now I can decide which of these two fractions I can use to cross out the word MCG. And that will be my second fraction. And that's what I'm going to multiply by because you can see now MCG cancels out. And then look what word I have left on the top, milliliter. Look what is left on the bottom, those. That's exactly what I want. I have everything that I need to convert milligrams to milliliter. So now I'm just going to simplify. So let's multiply. Okay. Remember, NG cancel with MG. MCG cancel with MCG. Now multiply top with top, bottom with bottom. 
that's how I get 50 milliliter on the top, 50 dose on the bottom. 50 divided by 50 is one milliliter per dose. And here we go again. That's how you use dimensional analysis to calculate dosages.